Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is once again directed by Chris Columbus, who did The Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone for you Americans. No, it's might not say again, but anyways. Uh, and it stars a whole bunch of people who, again, I'm not going to mention because you all know who they all are. And this is the second Harry Potter movie in the Harry Potter series and the second Harry Potter story in the Harry Potter saga, whatever. And uh, welcome back to my uh, Harry Potter film series. I hope you all enjoyed my review on Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of my Harry Potter film series reviews. So let's get reviewing Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Just like with Philosopher's Stone, this might contain spoilers in this. If you haven't seen if you haven't seen this, watch it. You've been warned. Let's talk about it. So Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets it's is basically uh, about uh finding out whoever wrote the Chamber of Secrets on the wall. Uh, you know, in some point then in the film, it says the writing of the Chamber of Secrets somehow written in red, which is a great scene, by the way. If you couldn't tell me already, it is damn good. Another great Harry Potter film. Uh, yes, and has has got some better things about it. It's got some good things that are just good about uh, Philosopher's Stone, but but we will get into that very soon. Daniel Radcliffe, uh, Rupert Grint and Emma Watson are all great coming back together as their characters Harry Potter, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. Yeah, I love seeing these characters is all coming back together and it's and I love the end thing which I don't normally men I normally mention in the near to the end but but hey that is a what an ending to the film and I it's just great together so uh, the film basically starts off uh, with like with this little creature Dobby uh, whoever he is, and then there's this like cake something, and his uh, dreadful stepdad, whatever, is like is like uh, lock get up the the window, so nobody from from the Harry Potter school thing whatever is trying to get him, but then the blue. Uh, there's a blue flying car with uh, Ron Weasley in it, and they help uh, save Harry Potter from from the dreadful family, and and the dad is basically trying to get Harry Potter, and then and then he kind of like then his dad kind of like falls off and out of the window. That was that was quite funny that scene. Yeah, and I. And it's a pretty good scene where, um, I love how, uh, Ron and Harry, uh, basically take, like, a bit of, kind of, uh, grey stuff, whatever you call it. Then they, like, say something, then they drop it, then they, uh, vanish, and then, and then they go to the train station. And then, somehow, they find out that through the, there's, like, a porto thing. But then they went through it and then they couldn't get through it, so they had to use the flying blue car. And so they made it to uh, the school, the Harry Potter school building. Yep. Oh yeah, and I love uh, the scene. I love the scene uh, where... And I love the uh, uh, Quidditch scene as well. Uh, I don't know which is better, uh, the one from Philosopher's Stone or the Chamber of Secrets, but I think uh, both of these uh, Quidditch sequences uh, 
they are actually damn good to watch. And yeah, yeah, I think Gryffindor wins again as well, like in Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, Harry Potter is like injured and he's got like arm injury somehow. Oh yeah, and I love the scene where uh, Draco and, if that's his name, and Harry Potter, I love them how they're going against that each other, how they're going against each other, and I love, yeah, the other, before, after, when, you know, uh, a Professor Snape and another guy, while Harry and, and Drago are going at each other and that and it is great you understand why you don't like Drago you understand why you're on Gryffindor's side and, oh yes and I love when oh yeah and I really love the and I really love the sequence with the big snake and all the dragon snake whatever you call it yeah, and I love that it's awesome to watch yeah, it's a great sequence to watch. Uh, the 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 design of it, the CGI wasn't quite bad actually. Uh, it was actually quite good. So yeah, it was a damn good uh, it was a damn good scene. Oh yeah, and I love uh somewhere towards the beginning of the movie when uh Harry is uh looking. At Ron's sister, I believe, or cousin, whatever, uh, Guinea. Yeah, who we'll get into in the in the rest of the Harry Potter film series reviews. Uh, it I love uh how they're looking at each other. They're like, it's like they come and get close to loving each other a little more, but you know what I mean. So overall, guys. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is a damn good Harry Potter movie. Uh, it's got some great scenes in it. Uh, again, it's no longer my le it's no longer my favorite Harry Potter movie, but it is in damn good company. Just like Philosopher's Stone is, acting's great. Yeah, you can't get wrong without the acting and all. You know, they're getting older and better. But yeah, Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets, to me, they're just somehow on the same level. I can't decide which I like better, but maybe sometime. Uh, if I ever do a ranking on, on my new account, uh, Letterbox, uh, sometime I can do that. You guys can probably check that out. I've got Letterbox, guys, uh, if you want to check that out. So overall guys, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, like I said, is in damn good company. And I'm going to give Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets a 9 out of 10. Alrighty guys, that was my review on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I cannot wait to bring you guys my next Harry Potter review, which will be coming out next week. Uh, I'll be going on holiday uh, tomorrow, guys, so I'll be away for like four nights. But I will be back uh, next weekend. Some uh, I'll I'll bring my review up sometime. Maybe not next week, but but it will be up sometime, guys. So. Uh, Look forward to my next Harry Potter review, which will be Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, where the series gets bigger and better. As always, comment, like and subscribe, click right here. And as always, until my next video, I will see you guys next time, and peace.